and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Iceborne turrets. What we're going to be playing here is a Jace Heimer uh, control deck in Freljord because with Freljord we get Iceborne Legacy. So this is again another viewer submitted donation deck and the thinking here with Iceborne Legacy is that uh, it's we don't have one specific target where we're always like okay this is specifically what we want to iceborne legacy we can kind of just use it on whatever you know even just putting it on like a jace or a heimerdinger you know you give them plus two plus two like that's that's a really good nice buff and that's you know just just only that but we can also do other things we can uh, put it on like assembly line makes like the forge workers we can iceborne legacy the forge workers because we have Forge Workers with the Forge of Tomorrow and Assembly Line and a bunch of there. Or Heimerdinger makes a bunch of turrets. We can put them on the turrets also, right? Especially like two mana turrets. Because we're going to have Mystic Shot, Time Trick, Troll Chant. We'll have a lot of two mana spells. Um, you know, nine two mana spells. So like each uh, two mana spell makes a new one of those two mana turrets. We could buff those up. We could even put them on the Hextech Handler. But Hextech Handlers will also be granting all of our tech allies everywhere. Plus one, plus one. We'll have that. Once we, once we cast two six cost spells. We'll also have the six mana turret, right? Like if we have Heimer in play, we have the, all these six drops, all these six cost spells. We could maybe put it on the six mana turret because the six mana turret is the elusive. You know, it's a six one elusive. So we can make it like an eight three elusive with Iceborne Legacy. Also, Jace double casts your six cost spells. Um, and so, you know, like we we can like play like a harsh winds we double harsh winds so now we have you know two turrets right for each one of those and so then we can you know iceborne legacy the two turrets for only cost for only casting the one six cost spell the other cool little thing that this this has in here with iceborne legacy is that normally when you cast iceborne legacy you just get its effect but then that's it and you just spent five mana and so that's a lot of mana to spend for just a plus two plus two effect. But it's a lot better if you have a Heimerdinger in play because your your five mana will at least give you a five one turret. So you know you'll at least have like a five one blocker um, that can also interact after you Iceborne Legacy. All right, so that's the thinking kind of of Heimerdinger plus Iceborne Legacy. We'll see how it does. Uh, we're going to be taking it out over to normal with it just being a meme tier deck and playing some Iceborne turrets. Okay, so we have Riven Vi. Riven Vi, well, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be like, but I know a lot of Riven decks are kind of combo-oriented with their finish. Uh, I like this hand, though. You know, we have uh, got one of our champions. We got protection for the champion with Troll Chance. We also have a good early unit that can attack and block. And then some card selection to see whatever we are missing. A little curve here. To serve the greater good. Uh, wow. Um, feel the rush is great, but then Winter's Breath with leveled up Jace can also be really good. I kind of want to take the Winter's Breath. I'll take the Feel the Rush, but I kind of want to take that Winter's Breath because we can double cast Winter's Breath. Wow, triple one drop. It's my time. Finally, some action. Come on. The Forge of Tomorrow. These hands and magic. All right, so they got five cards in hand. Usuku, thank you for the raid. They have five cards in hand, and we know two of them are Reforged tokens. So we're, we're playing against uh, Riven Vi, those of y'all just joining in. We are playing a Heimerdinger Jace deck with Iceborne. Ooh, what is that? With Iceborne Legacy. And so it should be a lot of fun. Okay, let's try the Winner's Breath here now. We need to level up our Jace first, but then level up Jace plus Winner's Breath. Good combo. Okay. So they're down to four cards in hand, one being a Forge token. We still have a good amount. Vi, stand 
Uh oh. Okay, there's a Heimer. The old sad eyes routine. Survival skills. I could just use my Winner's Breath right now to keep this Vi from leveling up. Let's play this first. Shock Blast. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Um. They probably play that, right? Uh, they didn't play it. I should have shock blast. Another survival skills? They did have another survival skills, okay. Good to know. When will I find peace? Oh hey, the lab rat came out to play. Oh hey, the delinquent got a job. Alright, so this will level up Jace. And now, uh, we hope that they play something before attacking next round, right? Because we're going to have the Winner's Breath. Especially, it could be like this Blade of the Exile, right? Like, we could do that. They've used two survival skills already. But unfortunately, the Winner's Breath is slow speed. Really hoping to cast this Blade of the Exile. I'll cast it. Yes. That's exactly what we wanted. Replicating the power spike. Now we will replicate the power spike. First one will frostbite them all. Second one, they did. Man, that's so good with Jace. All right, GGs. That just <laughs> makes them pick up their cards and go home. Winner's Breath Jays. Gonna mark today down as a success. All right, one to know. All right, Timo Caitlin. Vandal City. All right, I like. You know, against Timo Caitlyn kind of deck, I just want to mulligan the expensive cards, even though, like, Heimer and Iceborne Legacy, like, that's what our deck's really built around. Uh, but they both cost five, so I'm going to send them both back. All right, all right. The adventure has started with... Mushrooms. Do I want to? Okay, we're probably gonna want a Mystic Shot next round. So I'll go ahead and play the Starlet Seer first. Get that in play. We definitely want to have this be at least six mana, right? We want to be able to have it be a six cost spell for the Handler. Those factors are good. That's a pretty aggro hand. Wow, that's a pretty aggro hand. Well, you're certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. This would be a good Any kind of strike. Stars. 
Okay. That's good against flash bomb drops. Man, talk about a curve here. alive. This is probably not worth it. Have a mushroom. Have three. Wow. All right, I don't think we have any nexus healing in our deck. So, this looks pretty bad. This was a pretty good hand, I guess. Probably down to seven. And good amount of puff caps. So I can't really even play the time tricks. I don't want to draw any cards, of course. Yeah, I mean, we definitely can't play the time trick. Yeah, your hand is awesome. Good job. All right, one on one. GG's. No system is truly error free. You know, it's all just like lecturing girdle making those spells that just do damage to me and then draw puff caps. There's just nothing to do. And so it's just a complete feeling of, of hopelessness. Hmm. Not sure exactly what I'm looking for. So the problem with Feel the Rush is Deny. You know, like, we're going to be a Deny deck. Uh, Jace isn't really going to be doing very much unless, you know, like, we really want to level up Jace, right? Like, we don't want to play Jace early and then have Jace die. Man, we don't have a Mystic Shot here, do we? I don't think we do. Alright, so we'll have something with cost reduction. Either Viego, Thrash, or Invasive Hydrovine. All of those sound pretty bad. Alright, so no deny. Oh, 
I'll take a Heimer. Next round we can Heimer Time Trick. Or... Uh, maybe Forge Tomorrow Starless here. Yeah, Viego. Alright, Viego's good. Nice lucky to have me, in my opinion. As we practice, team. Scarper for us, Machia. I'm glad they played a Twin Disciplines on just that little card that doesn't make too big of a difference. Not on something that was more important. Is just in too many rounds. This would be a good winter. One shot. Okay, so we'll have assembly line next round. And then Jace plus J spell the following round whenever we have our the attack token again. And then just kinda see what happens. Probably not anything good, but Another great hand. Blessed by snow and stars. You know, GG's. Any last words? They need eleven power of units to die to level up Diego. play Jace and Jace Bell and hope, you know, just hope for the best. Is really that all we can do? There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Alright, back to a non tier one deck. I think we're gonna have a good shot of winning. So I like all these, but of course we need a six cost spell for the handler. I guess we just send Jace back. So the deck tracker tooltip still shows Iceborne Legacy is burst. I mean it was burst like like eighteen months ago or so, it was probably nerfed. Eh, maybe not that many months ago, maybe about 12 months ago or so, I don't know. It was nerfed a long time ago. And the funny part about Iceborne Legacy is they said they buffed the card like whenever they changed it, but it was in a very obvious nerf, so it was 3 mana and definitely take Glorious Evolution with Heimer. It used to be 3 mana and burst speed and plus 1 plus 1. And they changed it to 5 mana, plus 2 plus 2, and slow speed. And the. It's obviously much, much better at 3 mana burst and plus 1 plus 1. But they. They said they wanted to make it more powerful and 
and buff it whenever they changed it in the patch notes. Oh, I don't know why I'm not attacking. Sorry, I was just really considering whether or not to play Starlet Seer, but not playing Starlet Seer so we can play the Ice Quake so that then that'll be a six cost spell. Zoe was there, zero mana spell. Alright, so now our handlers are about to be bigger. Whoa! Ballroom! With the $10 donation! Not in the streams much, just wanted to show my appreciation for all the YouTube content. Thank you so much, Ball Balloom. I appreciate that. And that gets us closer to our cosmetics goal. We're up to 65 now. And so how that works is whenever we hit our $100 cosmetics goal, then I you know, deposit $100 back into um, the account here so that we can... Uh, let's go with... Let's just go with this. Oh, I guess... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Sorry. Anyway, then we put that in there, and uh, then we can purchase more and more cosmetics. All right, plus, you know, Iceborne Legacy Hextech Handlers? Why not? <laughs> Are we going to attack for lethal here? Oh, very nice. See, that's the kind of stuff that Targon's peak decks need to have. They need to have all those big effects. So now whenever, like, if all these things come back next round, I think they are summon abilities, so they'll make the, you know, they'll make the, the text even larger. Yeah, so I can't block the elusive. Uh, you're not leveled up yet. Just get rid of spell shield. Doing this just to level up Jace. Man, that's a pretty big floor be gone. Nine four. All right, I think I'm actually just going to pass. You know, like, I could play the Floor Be Gone, but then, you know, they, they still have something else that costs zero. I just kind of want to pass and attack. Oh, these are not... Oh, they're not like a summon, so it doesn't happen again. Okay, well... I should have done the other three damage to Zoe. Because then these are all sevens, but. Alright, there we go. Yep, the just the open attack. That will do. Alright, a win. Two and two. Okay, so Action Echo. Action Echo is a good meme tier deck that can. Um you know, basically get infinite chrono breaks. If you do it right. We've done that one before. That was a lot of fun. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. No, the shape stone? Gross. This is justice. Man, 
I had the shapes down. Mystic shot. See you soon, friendos. All right, gotta get this action out of here. Don't want them getting more countdowns on that Warlord's Palace. Or anything like that. So the Financier can block the 4-2. And then next oh, round we could play Hymer with Troll Chant Protection. Um, this does seem like a pretty good Ice Quake matchup, actually. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. They play lots of small units. I turn it like so. Ice Quake could kill both champions. Kiri and Sump Worker. Whoa. I guess they get a bunch of Kiri and Sump Workers. I guess that's what we're doing these days. That's like the anti turret card, right? Doing one to all enemies. Quake. <laughs> I never used that JC move before. Alright, so that's gonna kill my Heimer. We'll get a T Hex. And I I just have to play the T Hex, I can't just like pass. You know, we know that they're attacking them. To the bug list. <laughs> that was a pretty sweet ice quake. Okay. Attack in for eight. We'll have harsh winds next round. That should be useful. I think I'm just going to play another Heimer this round. Heimer pass with two mana, that means we have ten mana next round. With this, we stand a fighting chance. Answers, I have them. Another, another Kahiri. The sisters did warn us. So I'm mostly just worried of about another Sumpworks Posse. If they have a third one of those, they get to play right here also. Or if I frostbite one of these, then they get to play that other Sumpworks Posse, and that could, you know, kind of result in lethal. But I guess I guess we have Troll Chant, even if that's the case, so. Uh, man. Because the problem, like, I want to play just a two-mana card right here, but the problem with playing all the two-mana cards, they we can't block Fearsome. I guess that's not really not that big of a deal. No, that's not that big of a deal. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go... Uh... Jacer Forge. I guess we go... Alright, so this trade, I could use Troll Chant. 11. I could use Troll Chant to keep the T Hex alive. But I'm gonna wait on that. Okay, we save timer. It's smaller than the diagram. What's up, Cycle Cap? <laughs> this 
is the cutting edge of progress. This is gonna be close. So I'm giving Jace Challenger because I, I kind of need to just trade Jace to the Sunfork's Bossy, right? Um, so I'm gonna be trying that, and I don't know. Maybe we grow these turrets. So they'll be instead of two ones, they'll be cool four threes, and we get a five one quick attack. And we level Heimer. So what do they got over there for the three cards? Let's get started. I have to evaluate. Detects out of this world. Take seventeen. Take fifteen. Take thirteen. Take 13. Alright. Iceborne Legacy. Give me that extra damage I needed. Alright, so finished up with a 3-2 also with Iceborne Turrets. That was uh, pretty crazy, you know, like being able to uh, just Iceborne Legacy something. And, you know, like maybe we have Forge Workers in play that we want to do. Maybe we have the Hextack Handlers. We did that. Um, or just that two mana turret. We were able to do that as well. I think there's a lot of good stuff with Heimerdinger and Freljord. Like these, uh, Freljord has good protection spells and defensive spells, and that's what you want with Heimerdinger. I've always had pretty decent success playing Heimerdinger and Freljord together, and this uh, newer version felt uh, just fine. So there we go, Iceborne Turrets. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. And let me know with like maybe the new cards, which one of the new cards do you want to see uh, play to like, you know, what kind of combinations do you want to see with all the new cards coming out? Because, um, you know, we're uh, about to, you know, have some new Vandal City stuff and some new Targon stuff. So that'll be exciting. We got Mecha Yordles, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, that'll be exciting. Anyway, um, that's going to be it, though, for Iceborne Turrets. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.